Being able to have affordable housing is very, very important. Um, and I really want to spark a movement a movement to set up more families for success in the capital city. New at 6, a Florida A&M University professor is working to revitalize a community near campus. In the process, he's hoping to transform the streets of Tallahassee for better generations to come. You know, when kids walk to school, you want them to have pride in what they see. Christopher Daniels is talking about the streets of the Bond community on Tallahassee's south side. He's vice president of the Greater Bond Neighborhood Association. What is the goal here? So the goal is to provide affordable housing. All those in favor of the motion on the table signify by saying aye. 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 All those opposed passes unanimously. In October, Tallahassee leaders approved an idea to get more affordable housing for essential workers, including police, firefighters, teachers, and nurses. Meanwhile, Daniels has been working on these three buildings at Palm Beach and Maine. Well, I mean, this building, it's, it's falling apart. It's got yeah. graffiti on it. Yeah, I mean, when yeah, you yeah. see buildings like that in this neighborhood, how does it make you feel? Yeah, I mean, you know, it's not what you want to see. You know, uh, like I said, this is a nice area, very, has a very rich history. He bought these buildings earlier this year. Now he's working to preserve that history and pave the way to a brighter future. So once these three buildings are finished, um, approximately how many families people do you hope to accommodate? The, there's six units between the phase one and phase two, and they want to build a new six unit here. So we want to have 12 families here. Can you give me an idea of what, what somebody would pay to live in? Yeah, these are 800 a month. Okay. Right, so, so that's about uh, two, one fifth or so below market. That's for a two bedroom apartment like this one. Some of his tenants came from the Orange Avenue apartments, which are set to be replaced. He's also giving opportunities to at least one family of refugees escaping the unrest in Afghanistan. Uh, it's a great thing, you know, especially people who, who helped our military service, service members out overseas. Working to help people in need wherever they come from. I want to see the community be a better place. That is great. I know exactly the neighborhood, too, mm -hmm. that, where that was. So how does he get the money for these projects? When I asked him that question, he told me he got the money for Palm Beach from the Appalachia Regional Planning Council and an outside private investor. Nice. And so do people have to register for these apartments? How does it work? I asked him that, too. He said, no, they don't have to register, but they do accept Section 8 and other housing vouchers for people looking to move into there. I love it.